I've more now in an effort to help the children of Lahaina as they look to recover physically, mentally, and spiritually. Uh, Nate Gyotoku is the president of the Japanese Cultural Center of Hawaii. And, and Nate, this is really interesting. So what is this initiative? So the Kibo for Maui program is a uh, partnership between the Japanese Cultural Center, uh, the U.S. Japan Council, and Odyssey Nature Japan. And basically what we're trying to do is take high school students from Lahaina to the tsunami impacted regions of Japan from the 2011 tsunami so that they can see the recovery process and actually give them hope that you know, their, their town can rebuild. Yeah, so they're gonna see a group of people that have been through something similar and, and see them come out on the other side of this. And you've, and you've done this before, exactly, right, Nate? So yeah. what have you seen from, from the previous group? So we took a group of 11 seniors and juniors from Lahaina um, to the area in March. And we were able to visit with several different um, community members, business leaders, uh, governmental people. And we were able to see how the towns rebuilt, how businesses got back on their feet. Um, and basically the thought that these folks put into uh, redoing their, their towns after they got destroyed. Now, what about the students themselves? What kind of impact did that have on them? Oh, I think a tremendous impact. We, we, we're still in touch with a lot of the students that went. We just went to graduation um, this past weekend. And, yeah. Um, a lot of them, I think, are starting to think about how they can come back to Lahaina and how they can, um, you know, either go to college or, or shape their careers in order to help their town rebuild. Yeah, and what's really cool about this is a lot of those kids, when you talk to them, they're, they're, they're really intent on coming back and helping their community, you know, not just trying to get out of there. I mean, they, they want to really come back and make an impact. Um, so what, what are you looking for specifically? With, so with we're, we're actually going to take another group in yeah. July. Uh, we're looking for 15 to 20 um, students again, and uh, seniors and juniors. So even the seniors that just graduated are eligible. Yeah. And we're really looking for um, students who are interested in uh, putting in the work in their community. So folks that either intend to move back or you know are going to stay there, and we, we want to just find those that are inspired to, to kind of help rebuild Mahaino. Yeah, so how do they go about applying and, and all that? So they can go to our website, jcchawaii.org, or actually Instagram. Our Instagram is the best place, so it has all the social media links, and we have a link directly to the page with the application. Are they write an, an essay or, or Yeah, so they have like to that? do a personal okay. statement and get two letters of recommendation from uh, community members. But um, yeah, and, and we have some apps rolling in, but the applications close on the 31st. Yeah, uh, it's a great program, uh, and we can't wait to see who, who ends up going. But Nate, thanks for joining. Thank Drew you.